Yo, what's up? So I'm just gonna make a hopefully pretty quick um, weapon mod explanation video on Seven Days to Die. Uh, this is Alpha 19, so keep that in mind. Some things may be outdated. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, first, I'm gonna start with some of the mods that are more self-explanatory. Um, so first, we're gonna start with Crippler mod. So what this mod does is exactly what it says it does. So when you're shooting a zombie in the leg, you have a 20% chance to cripple it. And when you cripple a zombie, it will get stunned, it will fall on the ground for like 2 or 3 seconds. And then when it gets back up, it will have a limp, so it will be moving at you at a slightly slower pace. So that's all that mod does. Uh, the next mod is just a flashlight, so you equip it, then you press or hold F, or whatever your activate key is, and it will just light up the area. Uh, next is the trigger group mods, which all are again pretty self-explanatory. Um, they'll just make the guns the trigger type that they are, so I can put the semi mod on my AK, it'll make my AK semi fire. I could put the burst mod on the AK, it would make it a three round burst gun, or I could put the full auto mod on the AK and it would increase the uh, rate of fire of the AK. So you see the rate of fire is 372. When I put the full auto mod, it goes up to 415. Also, you'll notice the damage goes up. Um, every single mod in the game will increase the damage of the weapon. Even if I put on a flashlight, the damage will go up. So that's the trigger groups. Now we're on to the three shotgun mods. So the, uh, the sawed off shotgun mod makes it so the circle spread pattern of the shotguns is larger, which just makes it so you can hit more enemies at once at the cost of doing less damage to a single target unless you're really close to them. The sh uh, shotgun duckbill mod will convert the round pattern to more of like a rectangular one. And this is useful for if you're like hitting a zombie at mid range in the head, you would be able to hit multiple zombies in the head at the same time. And you could potentially like one hit them all from decapitation. Um, so the shotgun choke uh, makes the default circle spread pattern smaller, which means that you can kill zombies from slightly further away. So the next mod is a bit more, a bit less obvious. So radiated zombies have a natural regeneration ability, which as far as I'm aware, you can't actually there's no way to actually know that other than reading this mod um, but they regenerate relatively slowly so this mod isn't fantastic but it's still like decent they recover roughly 100 health every 30 seconds so every 30 seconds that you're in combat with a regeneration I mean with a radiated zombie it would take one extra bullet to kill them unless you're using this mod so this mod is up to personal preference if you want to use it or not because honestly best case scenario it will just save you one bullet and worst case scenario it won't do anything it would kill them at the same pace with or without it so again this mod is just personal preference with slower hitting guns it might be more beneficial because if you have to say you're using a shotgun or a magnum or something um, if it takes one extra bullet to kill them then that's actually a bigger deal because not only are you shooting slower but your mag size isn't as high so that one extra bullet means a bit more than something like an AR. Um, but next we have the bow mods. So the polymer string just makes it so the arrows shoot faster which means you just have to lead the target less and it will just take less time between you releasing the arrow and then hitting the target. The arrow rest mod makes it so your bow is more accurate so it basically what it does if I was aiming at that light post without the mod if I was aiming dead center at it I would be less likely to actually hit the lamp than if I had the rest on it pretty much reduces the spread of the arrow so now we're on to a bit more complicated mods that aren't as straightforward so Actually, I say that, but I want to go to the mags first, which are relatively straightforward. So the mags, what they will do is you'll notice my mag size is 31. 
the magazine extender will increase my magazine capacity by roughly 50%, give or take one or two. So if it's 50%, it should take me to 4T6, which it does. And one thing to note is that is all this mod does, it does not have any other effects. And now we go to the drum mag, which should double your magazine capacity. Which, if you notice, it only increased it by 30, so I actually um, got scammed out of one bullet. This happens with the uh, magazine extender mods, and I'm not sure why. It's just sometimes they give you an extra bullet more than they're supposed to, and sometimes they give you one bullet less than they're supposed to, but general rule of thumb is magazine extender is 50% more and drum magazine is double. Um, but the other thing to note is reloading a weapon with the drum magazine makes it slightly slower to reload. So I'm going to take it off and I will reload my AR. So you see it's pretty fast. And now if I throw on the drum mag, you'll see that it's still pretty fast, but it is slower. So it's not um, it's not so slow that like it's not worth using, but it is noticeably slower, so that's something to keep in mind. Alright. So next we're going to get into some things that reduce recoil. The so first I will shoot my sniper rifle without any mods on other than a scope. I'll stand right here. And I will aim at the in-between point of the light and dark areas, and I will shoot. So every gun has vertical recoil, and it is not always the same. So right there, it took me roughly to here. And now if I shoot it again, it takes me there. Now it took me to almost the top. Now it took me past the top, around the top, around the top again. So averaged out, it probably whenever I'm shooting the sniper rifle, it probably averages out to the top. And now if I put the muzzle brake on, it will d reduce the vertical recoil. So now whenever I shoot, I have to reload because I put a mod on, my bad. Now when I shoot, it will take... Bruh. So now when I shoot, it should only take me... It's still taking me high for some reason, I'm not sure. It's just random, so I'm getting slightly unlucky right now. There we go, now it only took me halfway up. Push the way up. Push the way up. Push the way up. So I'm actually getting really unlucky right now, but you will notice that it is still lower than what it was without. Like, I, I would never get a shot where it would only go like halfway up without the muzzle brake, but I'm sometimes getting ones that are only going like a quarter of the way up. So it does reduce vertical recoil, it's just sometimes, since it is random, it's not super noticeable at times, but then other times it's really noticeable. So next we're going, we're going to get into one that is actually really interesting. So the foregrip mod. So from the description, what this should do is it should increase my hip fire accuracy and it should make it so my movement and accuracy is lessened. So we'll test both of those first. So I'll stop moving. Top of my crosshair is at the top of the cactus. And now when I put the foregrip on, You'll notice that it's still kind of at the top of the cactus, but it did slightly go down a bit. So the spread is slightly smaller with the foregrip. But the other thing it does is movement and accuracy. So if you'll notice, whenever I'm moving, it spreads out a bit. My crosshair is spreading out whenever I move. And now, whenever I put the foregrip on, it will still spread out, but it does not spread out nearly as much as it does without the foregrip. So it increases your hip fire accuracy and it increases your accuracy while moving. But from the description, this is all that the foregrip mod should be doing. However, it does one extra thing. 
Remember how the muzzle brake was lowering my recoil and making it so it didn't kick as high as often? Well, for some reason, even though the foregrip mod doesn't say it does, the foregrip mod also does that. And I have to reload again. So you'll see now that I have the foregrip mod, it's also not kicking as much as it was without any mods. It's only going halfway up most of the time. And sometimes you'll see that it hard, like that one right there, it hardly moved at all. Halfway. 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 Uh, like a third of the way. So you'll notice the foregrip, on top of increasing your hip fire accuracy and giving you um, lessened movement and accuracy penalty, it also drastically increases, well, decreases your vertical recoil, more so than even the muzzle brake, when all the muzzle brake is supposed to do is reduce your vertical recoil. But the foregrip reduces your vertical recoil even more and provides those two other buffs. My dog's having a nightmare. <laughs> hey. uh, so that's all for the foregrip. So the foregrip is honestly extremely overpowered. But yeah. So now we're going to get to the retracting stock mod. This one is a little bit more... This one's a little weird because it has some flavor text that I believe doesn't actually do anything. But what it does is it does kind of the same thing as the foregrip. And by kind of the same thing as the foregrip, it actually does the exact same thing as the foregrip. So it will, um, it makes you more accurate when hip firing. So the spread on the crosshair is lessened whenever I have it equipped. The top of that stop sign. I put it on, it should be, yeah. You'll see that the crosshair is a little bit tighter. It also decreased my movement and accuracy, just like the foregrip. However, it does not reduce my vertical recoil like the foregrip does. You'll see that it's kicking just as much as it did when I didn't have any mods on it. So the retracting stock is basically just a foregrip, but not as good because it does not reduce recoil. So if you only have space for one or the other, definitely use the foregrip instead. So the laser sight mod is also pretty self-explanatory what it does. It just increases hip fire spread. So my crosshairs, I think it actually increases your hip fire spread more than the foregrip and the uh, retracting stock. But that's honestly primary, the only thing that it really does. Because the only other thing it does is while hip firing, it will have a red dot. And that red dot is exactly where your bullet will go. So you can use this to guarantee headshots if you uh, pay attention to the dot. Or you can just use the dot to, dot to help you aim. Oh. It's hard to tell, but the bullets go where the red dot is. But it's hard to tell because of recoil whenever you shoot. Uh, so now so now we're getting on to a couple more things that are also slightly confusing. The foregrip is the biggest one though. That's misleading and doesn't actually do what it says it does. Well it does, but it just does more than it says it does. But next we have the bipod and the barrel extender. So these two kind of go hand in hand. So the bipod, if you'll read it, it says it increases your accuracy in handling while you're aiming weapons. So at first you would probably just assume that it de uh, decreases your recoil, but that's not actually what it does. So what it does, if you'll notice, I'm actually going to put them both on at once because that, that's what makes it more noticeable. But if I'm aimed in, you'll notice if you pay attention to the actual crosshair, you'll see that they're not super close together, so there is a bit of inaccuracy whenever you're aimed in. But if you put on these two mods, the bipod and the barrel extender, which both increase your aimed accuracy, you'll notice that the crosshairs are almost touching each other. So that decreases the slight randomness of the bullet whenever you're aimed in. So that's what the bipod does. So now, 
we're on to the barrel extender which also increases your aimed accuracy just like the bipod which is what we were just talking about however it also says it increases your damage but it doesn't so every mod in the game like i said earlier increases your damage um the barrel extender doesn't increase your damage any more than any of the other mods it's also not a visual bug because i went and tested it I hit a zombie with a barrel extender mod and then I just put on like a muzzle brake and then hit it again and both shots did the same damage to the zombie. Um, however, it also increases your range and as a negative, it makes it so you're slightly less accurate when you're hit firing. But the range is actually pretty important depending on the gun you're using and I'll show you why. So these zombies are, this zombie is 15 meters away 25 meters away, 30 meters away, 40 meters away, and 50 meters away. So if I go to this zombie right here, this one is 40 meters away from me. And if you'll look at my assault rifle, I have 43 effective range. So let's take off this barrel extender mod. So I would be able to hit this zombie right now with my AR without any damage fall off. If I put this barrel extender on, I would now be able to hit this zombie, and I would also now be able to hit this zombie without any damage fall off at all. So that is, this is just so you can see the different ranges. The barrel extender increases the range of your weapons by 25%. So if you'll notice, my range was 43, and now it's 53. So it increased it by 25%, rounded down by 1% for some reason, because it's the same thing as the drum magazines. Well, just the magazines in gen uh, general, it's a percentage, but sometimes it's plus or minus 1 than it's supposed to be. So the barrel extender, depending on the gun, is actually a very useful mod, just because of the extra range. It can really help a lot of guns. Um, the only thing you have to take note of is when you're using a barrel extender, you can't use a muzzle brake. And you also can't use a silencer if you want to use the silencer. And now, speaking of the silencer, that is what we'll talk about next. So the silencer, again we talked about it earlier. Every mod in the game increases the damage of your weapon. So if I put on this rad remover mod, my damage is 69 with my assault rifle. So if I replace this rad remover mod with the silencer, my damage goes down to 63. So the silencer will lower the damage of your weapon by roughly 10%. On top of lowering the damage by 10%, it will also decrease your range by 25%. So again, we'll see the zombies. So this zombie is 40 meters away. I used to be able to hit this zombie without the silencer. I can now no longer hit this zombie. I can now only hit this zombie. So if any zombie is further away than this, I will do decreased damage to them because they will be out of range. So it's actually a pretty big difference. Uh, the silencer nerfing your range by 25% is pretty huge. Um, however, the damage part is also pretty big at times, depending on, like, at worst, it will just take an extra bullet to kill a zombie. But it usually probably will. But uh, there's a book that makes it so once you have all seven of these books read, the silencer will no longer nerf your damage. So with this, the silencers become a little bit more viable. But without it, I honestly feel like vi uh, silencers are just really bad. Mostly because uh, the decrease range really hurts. Uh, but if you're somebody that's just going to try to go through a building and get a bunch of sneak damage on zombies then obviously the silencer will still be good. But if you're just trying to find like an all-purpose uh, mod, the silencer probably is not it. Because the decrease range, like I've said numerous times now, really hurts guns, especially guns that are already short range, like uh, SMGs or something like that, or pistols. Pistols in particular have really short range. Like if you look at this one, it only has 15 range. So this pistol would only be able to hit this zombie, and if I had a silencer on it, if I had a silencer on the pistol, 
it wouldn't even be able to hit a zombie from this close range without doing decreased damage. And so that just shows like how drastic that the silencer can like just make guns really bad. Because I would have to be with a silencer probably like this close to the zombie. If I had a silencer on a pistol for it to do max damage, like this is really close. But I think that's everything. I don't believe I forgot any. If I forgot any, I'll post it in the comment below. So I hope this helps somebody, and uh, have a nice day.